doing good people? David Chow here, co-creator of NextLevelGuitar.com. What's up? Hope all is well, and I hope your guitar journeys are going famously. Today I have a little lesson for the beginners out there where we're going to learn some arpeggiating of some simple chords to give you some different sounds, and I'm going to show you some different real easy techniques on the guitar to play things that sound a little differently, you know, because when we're all starting out on guitar, after a while we learn some chords and we learn a few strum patterns, but it tends to sound a lot of things the same. So you, with just a few simple variations, you can get some different sounds and what we're going to show you is really easy and you're going to have some fun with it, take it and expand on it, put your own spin on it, and um, basically um, use it as a, to add a little, uh, you know, a little spice to your playing. And before I forget, uh, if you would like five free guitar lessons from Next Level Guitar, where I'm teaching you all about different chord changing techniques and strum patterns and all kinds of great stuff. Five free lessons that are not on YouTube and a coinciding ebook that has fretboard diagrams and chord charts. It's awesome. Click on that link in the text box below this video in the YouTube text box, and we will send you five free video lessons and a coinciding ebook all for free from Next Level Guitar. It's awesome. Check it out. All right, let me show you some of the chords that we're going to use in this lesson. The first chord, real simple. I'm going to keep it simple and easy um, if you're just starting out out there. E minor. I'll get my other fingers out of the way. All you're doing is you're taking uh, your first and second fingers and putting them on the second frets of the A string and the D string. And everything else, all the other strings are open. E minor. Uh, another chord we'll use in this lesson is a C major seventh. There's a good look at that chord. Now here, we're not playing the low E string. Second finger on the third fret of the A string on the C note, and first finger is on the E note on the second fret of the D string. And then all the other strings, G, B, and high E open. So you get C major seventh, looks like this. Now I like to have my thumb on top of the neck just to touch that low E string to mute it. This way when you're strumming, you don't have to worry about not hitting it, right? So you have E minor, and then basically all you do is just kind of drop that first finger down one string and move that second finger over to the A string. Yeah, so you want to kind of get that chord change mechanics down. And if you take that C major 7th, maybe we'll just do something like just move it up two frets. One, two. So now you're on the D note. Uh, so now you're on the 5th fret of the A string with your 2nd finger on the D note. And your 1st finger is on that uh, F sharp note, which is um, on the 4th fret of the D string. So it's kind of, you're playing also an open B string. Got the open G in there, and the high E. Sounds like that, there's a good look. And then if you just slide, you could slide that around. Get that kind of sound. So we'll just use those three chords. One of the things that you could do differently right off the bat, that's really easy, um, you're probably spending a lot of time strumming right now, right, on all your chords, right? So if you want to try to get a little different sound, let's try arpeggiating. And all that means is we're going to play the notes. Instead of playing them all at the same time, we're still holding this E minor chord, but we're going to play the notes individually and let them ring. It gives us a very different sound than if we strum, right? So that's an easy way that you can start doing some different things, arpeggiating the chords. And you could pick the strings in different orders, whatever pattern you want. I went to the high strings as opposed to staying on the low strings. And at first you'll have to look at them so you're not hitting the wrong one, and that's okay. And then eventually you'll get the hang so you won't have to look at it anymore. But let's do like a sequence, and then I'll maybe give you a couple different sequences. But we'll stay on the E minor chord. And let's just do this at first. Let's just go right in order. So we're going to pick the low E string. You're going to hold the E minor chord with your left, with your fret hand. We're going to hit the low E string, A string, D string, and the G string. All with down strokes. So you get like you're going down, 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 down. And then two up strokes. Down, 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 down to the G string. Then up on the D and up 
on the A string, so you get this. And that's the little pattern we're going to get. If you want to know what time that's in, it's not in standard like 4-4 time. That's actually, if you want to count it, it's in 3-4 or a lot of people call it like waltz time. And, and the way you would count that, you could count it like this, like 1, 2, 3, 2, 2, 3, 3, 2, 3, 4, 2, 3. It's not like in rock where it's like 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 2 and 2. It's not like a straight, you know, 4-4 four, four time. It's a little different. Again, I want you to play something a little different. I'm trying to push you outside the comfort zone a little bit. So here's that pattern again, just on the E minor chord. We won't even change chord. Just practice this, straight down and straight up. So we're gonna go four down and two up. So it's just down, 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 up, up. One, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three. One, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three. Right, it's, it's this kind of haunting sound on this minor chord. Here's another quick, little tip if you want to sound different. If you notice, the strings, if you pick them at different places along this horizontal line, the string is actually tighter back here, so it's going to give you more of a trebly sound. If I do that same thing, but instead of picking over the sound hole, if I just move my hand back and pick closer to the bridge, check this sound out. Sounds very different than this much more sharp and trebly because it's much tighter back here than here. So experiment with different places. And find, you know, some different sounds. But that's an easy way to get a different sound into your playing real quick. Just move where you're playing. Most of the time when you're strumming, you're going to be over the sound hole because you want the, you know, the strings to vibrate, the top to vibrate, and to go into the body of the guitar and vibrate. That's where you get that real rich, warm acoustic sound. But it sounds nice to mix it up um, and, and get some different sounds by picking in different places, right? So, get good at this first. Just all down and then up. And that kind of... Uh, three, four kind of time. And when you get good at that, then try changing to the C major seventh chord. Right? So you'll spend two measures or so. You could do four, whatever you want, on the E minor. And then change and do the same thing. Now when you go to the C major seventh chord, you're not playing the low E string. So you're going to start on the A string and a pattern at first again. Just go, you know, four down, 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 up, up. Right? back here. There's a change. 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 Seven. After the C major 7, you can even Go up to that, just bring it up a whole step. Now, once you get that down where you're just going straight down, straight up, not skipping any strings, you could get a lot of different sounds by changing the order of the strings that you're picking. And you could do anything you want and you can get creative with it. Like for instance, uh, and then you could change it each time. You could, it's, it's limitless, like. That's what we were doing first. What if I do this? And I was doing the first pattern we did the second time, but the first time I was going down, down, down. Then I was jumping. E string, A string, D string, then jump to the high E string with an upstroke. I, E, B, and G. Right, it gives it a completely different feel. Back to the original. You can do the same thing on this when you change to the C major seventh.
See there, I was going down, 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 and then grabbing the high E string. I was skipping the B string, but then hitting it on the way back. Down, 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 up high E, up, up, up. And then once you're comfortable, you could start skipping strings. Um, maybe doing something like this. See, I went right from the low E to the G string, to the high E. And then on the C major 7, right off of the A string to the high E string. And you could... You could come up with so many different patterns and so many different sounds and pepper it to your taste and, and get creative. And then when you get better at it, you can um, increase the speed, you could change the pattern, you could pick it up here or down here, you can play it instead of two measures or four measures of chord, you could do a one measure of chord, it's so much you could do. You could throw in some strums with it. So I hope you enjoyed that. You know, it's just a very simple way that you can get different sounds, different textures, and play different things that maybe pull you out of the box of beginner guitar. And these things are very easy. So get creative with them, experiment with them, try them with different chord changes and different progressions. And uh, don't forget, if you want those five free video lessons that are not on YouTube and the free ebook, just click on that link in the text box below this video. We'll send them to you for free. Check out our website full-on video instructional website at nextlevelguitar.com. Lessons for beginners, intermediates, advanced players, all genres of music, over 850 video lessons and growing. It's a killer site. Check it out. If you want to subscribe to our YouTube videos, just click on the subscribe box up here and uh, you'll be notified when we have new lessons out. Thanks for watching. I'm David Taub with nextlevelguitar.com. Take care and keep on rocking.